So I redrew. Uh, I didn't redraw, I just edited the image here from a screenshot of the video. And it was hard to see, but that was plus and that was minus. And I chose this diagram because I think it was drawn by the uh, Mr. Brandt or Cromley. And um, so S means switch. These are switches. Let me just go over the, uh, the basic parts in here. Okay, so here's a switch. That's a switch. That's a switch. Everywhere it says S is a switch or a transistor. Optocoupler. There's six switches. Three get switched together and the other three get switched together. So two, four, and five fire together. One, three, and six fire together. So I will. Here is switch one. I'm sorry, that's switch three. Here's switch one. Here's switch three. And here's switch six. Those fire together. And then they open. And then the other three fire, which is switch two, four, and five. Here's four, and here's five on the other side. So a way to look at this is, you know, switch one, three, and six on one, on, you know, like so, switch, and then two, four, and five. That's the sequence of switching here. We're going to go with sequence one, three, and six to start. And we are going to close these switches and trace it with these switches closed. Okay. Now, these are five volt batteries, for explanation's sake. Um, five volt batteries. When you close these two switches, or when you close just um, this switch, which is going to close with the other two at the same time. And then these two 5 volt batteries make a 10 volt plus at the top here where you see the red uh, terminal for the plus. So 10 volts plus is formed here, which was previously a 5 volt and a 10 volt minus down here. And what happens, where does this 10 volt plus go when these switches are closed and the other three are open? Okay. Well, the 10 volt can go across here through the diode, across the battery, through the diode. Now, keep in mind, this is currently a five volt battery because this switch is open. And that's 10 volts cutting across a 5 volt battery, so that would give that battery charge. And you also close this switch, allowing the positive to continue through the load or to show itself uh, 10 volts plus. It can show itself on this side of the load. Hmm. At the same time, the same 10 volt positive goes down here through the other diode and the other battery, which is also a five volt battery because the switch is open. They're not in series yet. 
So that's what I see happening there with these three switches closed. And let's trace the negative in green, the negative 10 volts, which is down here. More specifically, it's right there. And the negative, okay. Well, we know the positive 10 volts can cut across the load and go through this diode to meet the negative. But I trace it differently just for better understanding. Then, you know, the negative is channeled through here to meet the positive on this side of the load. Or maybe we should say it this way. Oh God, this is confusing, but if he says it runs off negative energy, positive can go to here and cut across the load during this cycle. And so this positive 10 now can meet up with the negative 10, like I just drew it out here to meet up with the negative 10 right there. And this cycle is completed here, or there's a closed loop here through the load, which would power the load and through the batteries, which would charge them. <laughs> I don't see why not. Yeah. Anyway. And because this switch here is open, nothing can go that way. So let's say that right now I'm showing how this thing is running off positive flow. Let's say, let's see how it runs off negative flow. Negative in green. And then, you know, we don't even need to do the other side because it's the same function. Same thing's happening when you switch the other three and open up these three that are closed now. The same thing's gonna happen. The same path that I'm drawing now, but the other direction. So I'm not, I'm not gonna draw it this time, but probably next time. So the 10 volts here, negative. Uh, through this switching cycle, will will we'll find itself negative 10 volts here on this side of the loop. And at the next switching cycle, the negative 10 would find itself here, okay? You know what, I'm gonna do the other side, just, just for you guys. Just... So, the negative 10 right now in this cycle finds itself here. And, it, and, it, and, it's, and, it, and it's there because the positive 10 is on the other side of the load. As I showed earlier, it's path, you know. Okay, so. And now we see positive 10 on one side, negative 10 on the other, on um, this load. And here's where, why he says it's AC, because, you know, hey, the polarity flips. You're going to see that positive 10 go on on the other side and the negative 10 go on the other side from where it is now. So let's do the other side. Let's switch the other side. We are going to switch instead of 2, 4, and 5, was it? All right, we're going to switch 1 this time. 1, 3, and 6. Three is over here. And six is over here. Okay, we're gonna switch these three now. And the other three are open. And let's trace it. Let's do the positive flow first. And did I do this wrong? Oops, I did it wrong. 
I switched the same side I already did. I'm um, sorry. Switch two, four, and five instead this time. Two, four, and five are now closed. And we are switching the other side. And we are going to close this, turn these two batteries from five volts each into 10. Pause the 10 shows up here now, which was a previous five. Negative 10 shows up down here. Positive 10. Again. You see, he has these diodes here, you know? Right here. I don't know. They're doing something. I think they're blocking a short or whatever. So right now the diode's facing, you know, it's hard to see, but it's facing this way. Both of them are. So that means this positive cannot get past here. Neither can this one. Uh, something to do with the series connection of the two fibers. So the positive can go here through the switch now that it's closed. And it can go through this diode, positive 10, can cut across a, a, a positive 5. Switch is closed. And it, that positive 10 finds itself on the other side of the load. This, this thing works, dude. I'm sorry, but this thing works. For anybody who is skeptical that whether this should work or not, as a uh, educated electrician, electronics, Engineer, I'm telling you, this this would work. So whatever. Oh, the positive tang cuts through there. Also cuts down here through the other battery, which is also a five volt battery. So you're sending ten volts through another five volt battery. And that diode blocks. See, it, like it can't go there. I don't know why. I think it's why he has that there. I don't know. But it, it can go this way through this diode and through that switch also. So that positive 10 from the other, from the right side can cut across uh, both these batteries also, which are 5 volts, 5 volts right now because this switch is open. They're not in series. So anyway, there goes your positive 10 on one side and uh, I'm going to trace it with green, the negative path. The negative 10 is going to go through the diode to here. And there's your AC flip of potential polarity flip. You know, AC flips the polarity each cycle. So with a DC switch, he's creating AC. Very efficient. Very. There's no like way to lose power here because Ah, oh, jeez, I mean, it was... I don't know what these diodes are here for. Uh, forget about those dots now, but... Um, it's very hard to lose power here because in one cycle, this cycle, you see this 10 volt bank is sending 10 volts across uh, a 5 volt path and another 5 volt path and sending the, the total 10 volts to one side of the load uh, you know uh, so one one side of the circuits feeding power to the other side that and you know this is ingenious very similar to the modification of the Bedini SG, the two batteries and the two coils, the flyback, the flyback loop that I created. It's very similar uh, switching concept. In fact, the switching concept is identical. Uh, going in, in essentially, to go from one source 
back and forth to the other of two sources. And in this here, you have two sources. You have the source on the right on one cycle, and then the source on the left on the next cycle. And the two sources during each cycle, they change their potential values from 10 to 5 volts, which aids tremendously in the transfer of voltage potential across the circuit. I think I pretty well covered this. There's nothing to do now than rec just replicate it. And I think the alpha coupler of the switching is probably a good idea. I will re-edit this video with some pleasant audio in the background and repost it. Uh, feel free to comment. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Over and out.